Welcome back to my channel. So today I have come up with a new topic for you that is early puberty in girls. So we all know that every girl goes through this stage called as puberty and during puberty there will be a lot of transformation that happens in a girl so that she is ready for pregnancy. So this is the stage which happens in each one of us. So let me give you some details about early puberty that is happening in the present scenario. So before we know what is early puberty, let me give you some details about what exactly is puberty. So basically there will be physical transformation and emotional changes that is happening in a girl. So this usually happens in the age group of 8 to 13. So basically the early symptoms could be or early signs here could be development of breast, body hair starts developing in various uh, areas like pubic hair, underarms and uh, various other places. There might be slight vaginal discharge. There is something called as spirits which starts in girls. So this is basically the release of egg. So we know we have a reproductive system where we have the ovaries, we have the fallopian tubes. So basically the uh, eggs will be there in the ovaries and each month one egg gets released and that egg through the fallopian tube reaches the uterus. So in case there is no contact with any sperm, the egg which is there gets deteriorated and it releases in the form of pirates. So this is a normal phenomenon which happens in girls every month. So apart from that there will be increase in height. So they start growing taller, their width, the basically even their hips grow wider and increased body order. This is also one more issue that happens during this stage because your sweat glands becomes more active during this stage because of which you may have more sweating and more body odor development. So what is precocious puberty? So let me give you more details about this. This is also called as early puberty. So basically if you have this stage earlier to uh, your age of 8 basically, so this is called as precocious puberty. So there are various reasons for this. So we will discuss about that today. But basically if there is uh, development of puberty in early stages we call as precocious puberty. So the average age for girls to, to start puberty is around 11 but each girl is different it depends on your body physique. So here it can vary like some may get this around 14, some might get around 12, some might get around 9 so it depends on individual. So you, need not, you can't compare one individual from another. So you have to keep this in mind each one is unique. So one more uh, thing that happens is obesity. So we know that once you are obese, you have a lot of body fats in you. This indirectly releases a hormone called as leptins and when leptins are more, it impacts your gonadotropin stimulating hormone which indirectly impacts the production of estrogen and progesterone which is leading to early puberty. So coming to uh, changes that can happen, so you will have changes in the body. So basically breast development, a menstruation cycle or periods will start developing and you will have changes in your shape like your hips grow wider. So these are the usual things which are seen specific to girls. But when it comes to boys and girls, some similarities. So both will have the stages of puberty. So they may be emotionally uh, having changes. They will have skin changes like you may get pimples. You may have body order, you may have hair growth, you may have growth spurts. So these stretch marks, okay, basically you're growing. So because of that, your body is uh, continuously growing here. So you can have stretch marks also. So these are the things which are common, but these are the things which are specific to girls. So coming to stages of puberty. So let me give you some details about that. So the stage one is called as pre-pubertal. So in this stage, there won't be much physical changes. But your body is starting to develop or it is initiating the process of puberty. In stage 2, your physical changes start developing like your breasts begin to bud, you may have scanty pubic hair, you may start increasing in your height uh, slightly. So in stage 3, this will speed up in which your breast continuously grows, your underarm hair begins to grow more, your pubic hair also grows, there will be growth, growth spurts that is happening. So maybe 3 inches per year or it varies again based on the individual. So in this way there will be a lot of changes happening in stage 3. Apart from that there can be a, a oilier skin formation because of a, a growth that is happening and that is, can indirectly lead to acne. And in the stage 4 it becomes full stride, Okay, the development becomes even more 
and uh, this uh, early puberty which i'm talking about there are a lot of reports now which tells that chemicals which are present in shampoo deodorants so these are linked to early puberty because uh, there are uh, estrogen containing chemicals which are added so indirectly you are supplementing this uh, hormones and that is why it can lead to early puberty so as i told you it the stage where you get this puberty stages at the earlier stage that is called as early puberty so it is maybe even before your eighth birthday a girl might end up with this particular stage so that becomes very difficult for that person to take this change suddenly so uh, basically uh, there may be certain mismatches also in this particular stage so that is why we call it precocious or early puberty and identification of this becomes very uh, necessary so basically they may start developing and uh, periods may be uh, they might see a period before the development of the breast or there might be a disconnect between puber, uh, pubic hair development and breast development so in this way if there are certain mismatches disconnect because of which a person is entering into puberty that is called as precocious puberty which requires little medical attention so sometimes uh, the testing of this or identifying if a girl will end up in precocious precocious puberty this can be identified by blood test to some extent because once you do the blood test you can identify the hormone levels in that individual so once the hormone levels are identified you can check with the normal levels and see if there is higher uh, concentration of estrogen and progesterone in that girl and indirectly it can lead to puberty in the later stages so by identifying these hormones at the early stage you can try to identify if that girl will end up in puberty in the earlier stages apart from that you can even use ct or mri so this will indirectly tell if there is any tumor development in the adrenal gland or any other organ because of which your organ is over producing the hormone which can lead to these early puberty symptoms so in that way there can be various reasons for early puberty so these are some of the tests which can help you in identifying if a person is entering early puberty so as i told you the personal care products also is creating a lot of issues because estrogen creams are available so indirectly it will be like you are supplementing these hormones which can lead to pubertal changes so see to it that too much uh, personal care products are not given to uh, uh, young girls so that you don't end up with these kind of difficulties at a very early stage so coming to what emotional changes that can happen during this particular stage definitely uh, they become very uh, what do i say the mood here okay so they 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 it, themselves don't know what's happening a lot of changes are happening in their body because of which they might be very happy at one stage but next moment they may be very sad so very much mood swings will be there they may want privacy they may think like why people are interfering what's happening so these kind of privacy issues will start coming they may become more focused on how they look uh, and pimples are there what to do with this so they become more focused in all this and apart from that they may be even becoming conscious like what will other think about me my i am growing i am growing uh, different changes are happening in me what will others think so please don't uh, think all this because each each individual has to go through this stage of puberty and when it comes to girls each and every girl will have the normal stages of periods or whatever it is so see that you uh, be open about these topics talk to your friends see what is happening to them so this will give you a lot of moral support apart from that uh, see to it that uh, you uh, speak uh, openly about this even with your family because we have seen some issues like people do not talk about these uh, topics but this is the topic which everyone should know about because it is something to do with everyone right so everyone should know about what is puberty what are the changes that can happen in girls what are the changes that can happen so all these we need to understand so then they become more focused in their friends they may neglect their family also that that is a uh, genuine year because they are trying to understand what's happening what are the changes happening so they are discussing more with their friends about these because they feel more comfortable with friends than family so this can happen but in case the family also becomes uh, like parents can act like friends or be like friends to them then definitely they will be open and they will uh, share all this even with you so see to it that you have uh, uh, good communication between your uh, uh, with your uh, kids basically so that they become very uh, it becomes easy for them to uh, go through these transformations so coming to the mechanism little bit details about like what exactly happens we have a master gland or master mind that is brain and in the brain we have a pituitary gland so this is the major gland which is creating a lot of hormones in our body for puberty so during this process uh, the gonads basically are the 
organs the reproductive organs which are creating this or which are synthesizing this hormones and when it comes to girls it is the ovaries which is creating or synthesizing a lot of hormones that is luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone so these are the major hormones which will indirectly uh, uh, generate or synthesize estrogen and progesterone okay so these are the things which are leading to puberty okay so what happens in in a person who is having early puberty or early symptoms of puberty this levels of estrogen and progesterone which will be, will be very very high at the earlier age maybe less than 8 years also this level becomes high because of the overproduction of these gonadotropin stimulating hormone so it is all interconnected so if we can tackle somehow the uh, production of gsh we can indirectly tackle the production of fsh and lh so as you can see here the lh as i told you that is luteinizing hormone so when this concentration becomes very high in an individual then it leads to precocious puberty or early puberty but if there is reduced amount of this luteinizing hormone in an individual that might lead to delayed puberty so in this case it is all the hormone game that is happening here so because of which like if a person in the age of 7 7 1/2 8 has higher concentration of these hormones it can end up with early puberty and similar way if a person even in 13 14 is having less concentration of lh it can have late delayed puberty uh, symptoms there so coming to the take away messages we have seen exactly today like what exactly is puberty what are the changes or transformations that can happen during puberty what is early puberty or precocious puberty what are the emotional uh, changes that can happen how challenging it is for the kids and how parents can support and it should not be like a one time discussion you tell about it and leave it it should be a continuous discussion like we discuss something else uh, okay so in that way it becomes very um, easy for, even for the kids to understand that this is not something different and it is a normal situation where everyone goes through these stages so see to it that you don't use too much personal care products in early stage of life so that it, you end up with something like a precocious puberty so i indirectly we have already also seen that obesity can lead to early puberty so see that you eat healthy and see that you be, uh, stay safe so that you don't become obese and indirectly lead to early puberty and uh, during this we have already also seen that if a girl goes through this early puberty stages there are chances of mental health problems also because the girl is very small she is not ready for all this and something like this happens it becomes very difficult for them to go through this so they can have certain mental health issues also because of this and they may end up with uh, taking some risk in life also so you have to be very careful here so please discuss this among uh, the people you know so that they get more information about what exactly is puberty and early puberty and always remember this is a natural phenomenon every single girl will go through this so you need not think that you are it's happening only with you and something like that it's it's a natural phenomenon where everyone goes through this okay thank you for watching these are the references so thank you for watching and please like my video please subscribe to my channel and please uh, share your feedback with me so that i get more motivated more so that i create more information for you so if you have any topics in mind you can please share it with me so that i can create videos on that for you in future thank you for your support till date have a nice day